And so uh, we are moving to the city of Krasnoyarsk now, uh, one of the most fascinating places in our country, I would say. I would like to give a floor to Ms. Olga Kuznetsova, head of international recruiting department at Siberian Federal University, the largest uh, Russian university in the Asian part of our country, if I am right. Uh, so, Olga, please welcome and take the floor. Thank you. Thank you very much. You are absolutely right, Dmitry. Thank you for uh, welcoming me. Um, dear audience, dear colleagues, partners and prospective partners, my name is Olga Kuznetsova, and it's my greatest pleasure to greet you on behalf of Siberian Federal University. I'd like to start by thanking the organizers of the event for inviting us to participate and by saying that it's extremely important for universities now to be able to reach out to our prospective students while we are considerably constrained and entangled by the current pandemic in our normal recruiting activities. In my presentation, I'm going to tell you about the university I come from, focusing on a few programs most suitable for international students. At the end of my presentation, uh, I'll answer a very important and most common question, which always comes in the menu of frequently asked questions. Where are you located? So I'll briefly tell you where we are located. Let's start. My university belongs to a group of millennial universities. These are the universities which are 50 years old or younger. In 2019, the Times Higher Education Ranking included 351 universities in this list. Our university sits there in 56th position. Siberian Federal University was established in 2006 by a merger of five educational institutions in the city of Krasnoyarsk. It was the first federal university in Russia, followed by another nine universities in the pool. Nowadays, it's among the biggest Russian universities, and since its foundation has belonged to the country's top 20 universities. At our 21 schools, we train more than 26,000 students, about a thousand of whom are internationals coming from nearly 50 countries in the world. I'll briefly comment through the slides, as I know you will be able to receive the presentation after the event and you'll have a chance to read the information at your own pace and convenience. In the next slide, uh, we present our master's level programs which are taught in English. There are five of them. Four are in trendy areas such as IT, biotechnology and banking. And the skills and knowledge gained in them are universally applicable. The program in petroleum chemistry has traditionally been of interest to representatives of oil mining countries. As you can see, the programs are competitively priced and offer the best value for money. A bachelor's degree is uh, in a related area would be a prerequisite for the four of the programs, while in banking, the colleagues believe that they can train a student even if their early education was not related to economics or finance. The enrollment on the programs is selective. A prospective student will be expected to have an online interview with the program leader or an academic appointed by the leader. In IT programs, they also ask you to take a math test before the interview. In the next slide, I'd like to introduce to you our foundation year of Russian. There's a wide choice of undergrad, postgrad, and even doctoral programs which are offered in Russian at the university. To be eligible for them, an applicant has to demonstrate a certain level of Russian language proficiency. 
Developing a requested level of proficiency is exactly what the foundation course is about. It lasts for a year and costs 2,000 US dollars. We always ask our international students, even those enrolling on a non-degree course, to provide us with quality scans of their educational documents. At Siberian Federal University, we are authorized to recognize academic education, and we can assist an applicant from the very beginning. From looking at their early academic credentials, we can suggest whether they are eligible for a degree program they would like to apply for. In this slide, you can also see our regular deadlines for application and irregular deadlines of this year. They've been considerably extended, and for master's programs, we are still enrolling till August the 1st. A foundation course admission team will be receiving application till even later, August the 17th. Due to the fact that we are a young and modern university, our campus has been developing since the year of establishment. We have 30 on-campus dorms and are currently developing yet another one high-rise student dormitory. It's going to be an apartment-style residence. The university has got five sites in the city. On each location, we have lecture halls and dorms, so that most times students don't need to commute to their study place, they can just walk there from their dormitory. The campus is spacious, modern, with a lot of green spaces where it's pleasant to relax. Siberian Federal University is proud to offer a highly developed sports infrastructure to its students and staff. We have 30 gyms, including the ones in students' dormitories, two swimming pools, track and field stadiums, indoor and outdoor football pitches, to mention just a few. Our newest sport development is a mini golf course. So people with a healthy lifestyle philosophy, both students and staff, will find a lot of support for maintaining this philosophy. Hardly can one imagine a modern university without thinking of possibilities for students to develop their extracurricular creativity. At Siberian Federal University, we take it very seriously and provide our students with a broad range of clubs and societies. Singing, dancing, performing, producing, they'll surely be able to find something catering for their tastes. Our international students can join one of the university's national communities, or they can start a new one. The international population of the university and prospective students are supported by designated services. It's the International Admission Office, whose team work with students who need visa support from the university, and the Office of International Student and Staff Support. These guys aid internationals with their adaptation, from pickup services to helping with choosing a mobile provider and an insurer. Arranging a health and safety insurance is compulsory for our students, as the university has stringent health and safety regulations. Commenting on this slide, I'd just like to mention about a cherry on top of our great accommodation facilities. This year, Siberian Federal University will be giving a bonus to its international students. Those who enroll on degree programs will receive a year-long waiver of paying a rental cost. So for the academic year 2021, their accommodation will be free for them. As I've promised earlier, this last but one slide is devoted to our location, a modern, vibrant, and beautiful city of Krasnoyarsk. 
Krasnoyarsk is among the biggest Siberian cities. We are located in the eastern Siberia. The city is divided into the so-called right and left banks by the river Yenisei, which belongs to the 10 Russia's most powerful rivers. It's an official fact, and you can check it uh, in the wiki, that the geographical center of Russia, Lake Vivi, is located in the Krasnoyarsk region. Traditionally, Krasnoyarsk has always been an industrial city, as well as the region in general. The region is the home for such large internationally known businesses as the aluminium producer Rusal, Norilsk Nickel, Gulidov Krasnoyarsk non-ferrous metals plants, and others. They all have been the university's long-standing partners, by the way. However, over the last decade, Krasnoyarsk has been focusing on urban development and making the city environment more residence friendly. This trend resulted in hosting a large international sporting event in 2019. It was the 29th Winter Universiade a kind of Olympic Games for students. We received more than 3,000 athletes from 58 countries who participated in uh, events in 11 kinds of sport. A number of guests who visited this global event was hard to evaluate. It's said that approximately 200,000 national and international guests visited the city during the event. Before I say goodbye, I'd like to draw your attention to the very important information. It feels highly likely that the new academic year will be started online for our uh, international students. At Siberian Federal University, we've decided on the following approach. Our international students, freshly enrolled and current, will start their studies online. And after the international travel becomes possible, they will be receiving invitation letters to apply for an entry visa. When they arrive at place, they will just be proceeding from the point at which they, they stopped online. We have so much more to show to you and to share with you. So please contact us We'll be happy to respond to your queries and the best way will be to come when it's possible and see everything with your own eyes, to touch and feel it. You are wholeheartedly welcome to join us at Siberian Federal University. Thanks a lot for investing your time to follow my presentation. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Olga, for this presentation. It's really interesting to know about your city, which is so big and so famous. Actually, I wanted to uh, ask you a couple of questions, if you if you don't mind. First of all, uh, one of the colleagues from Egypt, our uh, certified national partner in Egypt, Osama, uh, passes you his best regards in, since he has actually graduated Thank you very much. in Siberian University, so he feels like home when he comes to Siberia. And the second question, uh, more serious, is about uh, uh, what is the atmosphere for international students in Krasnoyarsk? I mean, uh, I'm, I suppose it's, it's a question about general environment. Is it friendly to uh, international students or not so friendly? Please tell about this. Thank you for this question. Yes, uh, it's quite understandable why people inquire about it, because, because we are located in the deep depth of the country. Uh, but with the establishment of Siberian Federal University, the atmosphere has become much more multicultural, multinational, uh, global. And uh, if we started with international students who were quite uh, a uh, rare and exotic bird for local residents, uh, now uh, Krasnoyarsk uh, uh, 
uh, has become quite familiar and quite accustomed to welcoming people coming from all over the world. We have um, a large uh, group of students coming from African countries, from Latin America, from the Middle East, uh, Asian students. And, uh, you know, uh, nowadays it's taken as an absolutely ambient phenomenon as uh, a part of Krasnoyarsk and uh, local residents are proud uh, to, to, to be a host for international students. Right, that's really good. Uh, another question I would like to uh, ask you is that since we all know that uh, on August 5th it will, it will be officially possible for international students to uh, get part-time em employment, and uh, since Krasnoyarsk is a very, is very big industrial city and uh, there are also many companies that uh, provide different services. My question is that if the university has any career support center that could provide uh, this kind of assistance to international students to get you know, part-time employment to support themselves. Thank you uh, for, for reminding, thank you, Dmitry, for reminding about uh, this. Um, yes, moreover, at our university, we have a designated office. The office uh, who work uh, with international students, supporting them in applying uh, for a job. Uh, firstly, it started as a job possibility only inside the university. Uh, but uh, we've been currently assisting our students in uh, finding a suitable job outside the university and uh, helping them to provide all uh, nece uh, a necessary pack of documents to migration services to have no problems of uh, migration character. Uh, since August the 5th, yes, um, we will be able to provide even more possibilities to our international students. And uh, Krasnoyarsk is quite greedy to employ international uh, students from our university, as um, many local businesses are aiming at developing in, uh, into a global stage. So they will be uh, very happy to seize uh, this opportunity and to welcome international employees. Okay, thank you so much. I, I, first of all, thank you very much for this opportunity to uh, take a look at your city, at your university, which was really wonderful. And we need to actually move on because we are running out of time with your presentation. So, but definitely, I would like to invite you maybe for next time uh, to you know tell some other thing that you have not managed to do now because of uh, time shortage, right? So thank you very much, Olga. Have a good day.